Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, the other day I popped into my local Sainsbury's and I actually took you guys along with me and filmed a store tour there. I'll link that in case you haven't already seen it because I basically went around the whole store, looked at all of their kind of like new in clothing, homeware, decor, everything like that and I did actually manage to pick up a few bits. I actually also did a really similar video for Tesco where I sort of went around, checked out everything new in store and did a bit of a try on haul with some of their bits as well. L absolutely loved some of the bits that I got from Tesco. So I wanted to try out Sainsbury's and see how they compared to Tesco, whether the stuff's the same quality, pricing, all of that. So I have a few bits to run you through today. And obviously as per usual, I'm gonna let you know all about the sizing and the quality and all of that. Um, but yeah, let me show you my first outfit. Okay, so first outfit I have on is this top and skirt combo. I'm gonna talk you through the top first and then I'll take the camera down a little bit and show you the skirt. So I saw this top and I thought this would just be the perfect kind of basic white top. Great to tuck into skirts, jeans, all of that. <sighs> now that I've got it, I'm not actually in love with it. So it's a little bit kind of see-through, bit cheapy, bit baggy. Just to remind you guys, size-wise, I'm roughly about a UK 16 on top, I'm an 18 on bottom, and I am five foot seven. So I got this t-shirt in a size 16. So I stuck true to size with this. I did really like the idea, it has these little kind of roll-up sleeves, but the sleeves are actually quite tight on my arms, which I wasn't really expecting. Um, It's a pretty shapeless t-shirt to be honest. This was only £3.50 and it looked really nice on the hanger, but the quality is quite bad. It's very kind of see-through-y, shows every kind of lump and bump in my bra. Um, wearing it down, it's just, it's really, really boxy. Um, so that's why I kind of had it tucked up into the skirt like this. So obviously if you are just looking for a really cheapy white top, they have them for £3.50 in Sainsbury's but I don't really think it's worth the money. It is just really kind of cheapy. The fit's not amazing. Um, and I just don't think it's the most kind of curved friendly top. So not off to a great start, but let me take the camera down a bit and show you this skirt. Okay, so I picked up this midi style skirt. I absolutely love this length. I just think it's so versatile because you can either chuck it on with a pair of heeled boots and you know, in autumn, or spring just put it on with like a little jumper and tuck it in or it looks great in summer as well you can wear it with sandals wear it with some like trainers pumps whatever you want it's really nice and kind of floaty and comfortable um let me show you the print quickly so it's this kind of like ink splodge print um the waistband on this is really comfortable it's actually elasticated so you literally just slip it on and it's super comfortable it has this kind of piping detail down here which leads into a split in the skirt which isn't too high up sometimes they can come really high up and it's a little bit too exposing but this one's really really nice um yeah length on it is absolutely great as well really comfortable the quality is really good um so i got this in a size 18. um i actually it's a little bit big i'd say this is quite roomy it's kind of like hanging off of me a little bit if I went a size down, I don't know if it'd be a bit tight on my hips, but I don't know if you guys can see, I've got like quite a lot of excess material. Probably depends how you want it to fit, but I feel like there's a little bit of excess material going on, which is adding a bit of bulk to me. Um, so yeah, I probably recommend sizing down if you're between sizes, um, but it's just super comfortable. Elasticated waist what more could you want this would look really nice teamed up with like a little belt as well um so this was 18 pounds i actually think that is so worth it it is such a nice skirt really comfortable really versatile i love you guys know that i just wear a lot of kind of simple plain colors so being able to add a print into my wardrobe like this is really really great for me so yeah definitely love this one i also wanted to show you guys what i've got on underneath my skirt because i actually picked up a pair of shaping briefs 
Um, I've never tried anything like this before. I've tried Spanx before and like Spanx aren't the most comfortable. They don't look very good in my kind of experience, but I saw these, thought they looked really, really good. So you get two in a pack. I got the black and nude and they're basically like high waisted kind of brief underwear. Um, but they're kind of like, they actually look really nice. The black ones definitely look a lot nicer than the nude ones in my opinion, but um, yeah, they're for anyone who, like personally, I've just put on a bit of weight in, when I say a bit, I've put on quite a bit of weight in the last two lockdowns. And I just feel like my stomach looks a little bit bloaty. Like I feel a little bit self-conscious about it at the moment. And it's not that I want something to literally suck me in and suffocate me, but sometimes when I'm wearing dresses or skirts, I kind of want something just to smooth me out a little bit and just help me out, do you know what I mean? Like not change my body, but just, yeah, just smooth it out. So I thought these would be perfect. I'm wearing one pair now and they're actually really, really comfortable. They just give you a little bit more kind of support here. Um, and they don't even like look bad, to be honest. I went for these ones because I like they had the lace. So anyone who wants to be kind of held in around their stomach a little bit, but not around their bum, because I have a really big bum. And when I wear Spanx, it just like flattens my bum, which I don't really want. Um, so these ones actually have this kind of like lace. So it just kind of goes over your bum a little bit. They're kind of like um, cheeky. So they go up a little bit, um, but they still look really, really good. And you have this kind of mesh detail there with this kind of, you know, I thought for shaping underwear, these were actually really, really pretty. So the black, I'd, if they had the set in black, I would just 100% get two pairs of the black, but you know. Um, so I got them in a size 18. I say the sizing is perfect. It says light control smooths the tummy and hips. They are, this is what it looks like in case you guys want to try and spot them in your local store. 10 pounds for both pairs, which I thought were really good. Yeah, size 18, I say they're like spot on size wise. Okay, next up I have on this shirt dress. So I said this in my other video that when I was in there, they were doing a massive kind of changeover, um, especially in the homeware kind of section. But in the fashion, they had actually a massive sale kind of rack as well. So this is something that I picked up in the sale section. So it's a really nice little shirt dress. This would be great for anyone who is potentially going to be going back into the office anytime soon um it's something that you could easily wear with a pair of tights the length on it is it's not too bad i mean it's not super long but it's not definitely not short so again something that's gonna be great you could wear this winter autumn spring um you can back on a pair of tights pair of heel boots but it would also be quite good in summer you can kind of undo the sleeves and roll them up a little bit um this is the print very kind of similar to before like a kind of it's slightly animal print but more kind of abstract paint splodgy with a little bit of blue in there as well milo have you got something to say for yourself are you barking at people out the window you're sitting there being all grumbly you're so cute you're so cute aren't you so quality of this it's actually really really good it feels quite nice and soft it's not one of those super thin cheapy shirt materials and not a thick kind of twill one it's a really really i think they've just struck it really well actually i'm surprised this is from sainsbury's oh it's got pockets oh um the only thing that i'm not liking so i got this dress in a size 18 and it's coming up super small so it's like a button down dress you have this kind of seam detailing here i feel like that should hit you on your waist which is more here it's hitting me pretty high it has this kind of tie up belt i am fine in it but i think if i were to sit down it would really gape i do really like this it comes up super small honestly like i can't really i normally take a 16 on top this is an 18 and i'm struggling all on my arms so it is super super small i will say it is curve friendly but the sizing's just not right so i'd have to size up and get this in a bigger size i think it it's fine doing that because you have this belt to kind of cinch it in anyway you can style it up with your own belt i think it's a really nice dress really good quality it is just super super small and the fabric doesn't have any given it 
but you will not believe the price of this. So this was originally £20. I actually think that's pretty good pricing anyway, but this was actually half price, so it was only £10. I'm actually pretty annoyed that this doesn't fit. Um, I mean, it does fit, but it's just not, I don't know. It's just a little bit tight. Um, but yeah, for £10, that is crazy cheap. So if you are popping into Sainsbury's, definitely check out and see if they have any sale items because a lot of the stuff they have on the sale rack was half price, but a lot of it was kind of more wintry stuff, obviously, because they're changing over. Um, but yeah, I definitely think this is a find. Okay, I have another dress to show you guys. So I saw this kind of knitted jumper style dress. I'm so impressed with how this is actually fitting because I normally struggle with these style of dresses. So I got it in the navy blue. I think they only had navy blue. The top section of it has this kind of button down detailing. I don't think you can, oh, you can. So you could do it lower if you wanted. Push up bra, evening out kind of vibes or do up a couple of buttons for daytime vibes. But anyway, so the top half is this nice kind of ribbed style, which goes down like the sleeves, has like a nice little kind of, kind of midi sleeve length. And then the bottom's just like a normal kind of, it's quite a thin jumper dress, um, but I think it's really flattering actually. It's a really good length. It's hitting me just above my knee. So again, if anyone is going back into the office anytime soon, this would be really good office wear as well. Again, it's something that you could chuck on with a pair of tights and heeled boots. But also, well, I think this would just look really good with like a denim jacket, some kind of like pump trainer style shoes, sandals, whatever. I just think it's a really nice kind of comfortable all day kind of dress. It is kind of figure hugging, but it's not super tight. Um, I don't feel like self-conscious in it and I actually think this is really curve friendly as well. Quite often when I try dresses like this, I have a lot of excess in the middle, but I feel like it's following my curves pretty well. I actually sized down and got this in a size 16 because I remember picking up the 18 and thinking it just looked quite large. Um, and I'm glad that I sized down. I actually think I could get away with a size smaller. It depends how you want it to fit. If you want it kind of figure hugging, but not too tight, then I'd say size down once. If you do want it to be really tight, twice. You're gonna need to size down twice. It's the kind of material, it's very, very forgiving, very stretchy, so you can get away with it. Obviously, I don't know how it washes. Um, and this was a little bit more pricey than I was expecting. This was 22 pounds. Um, I think it's totally worth it though, to be honest. It feels really good quality. It's a little bit big on the sleeves. I don't know if I'm just being a bit picky now. I think it actually sits a little bit better when you give it a one, kind of just roll it up the once, because I feel like at this length, it's kind of bunching up a little bit. Yeah, I'm actually really surprised with this. I think I might try and get this in a smaller size because the more I'm wearing it, the more I kind of feel it's a little bit kind of loose around here. But I actually think that's a really versatile dress. It feels really good quality as well. It feels really soft. Hmm, Sainsbury's have stepped up their game. I am really impressed, honestly. I have one more item to try on for you guys and then we are done. Okay, last item I have is this shirt. So I've just chucked this on with a pair of jeans. I absolutely love shirts for kind of like springtime. It's just so nice being able to kind of chuck on, just chuck on a really nice shirt and I feel like it just always elevates your outfit a little bit. It just looks so much more dressed up than putting on a t-shirt. Um, you can also kind of like tuck them, style them with a belt, which looks really cool as well. Um, this one, I absolutely love the pattern. So it's got like a really, really subtle kind of black greyish pinstripe with these embroidered hearts on them. And I honestly just thought it looked really expensive. It has this bit, which I've got to be honest, I don't like that kind of, I don't know, strap detailing. So I would personally actually just like take that off. I do like the sleeves rolled up, but I just don't like that kind of strap. I think that makes it look a little bit more, I don't know, not dated, but I just don't think it looks as good as if you were just to roll it yourself. But yeah, 
it's actually really good quality it's quite like a nice kind of thin cottony shirt flows really well the shape on it's pretty good it's not like too boxy the length is pretty good as well like i said i would probably do like a little bit of a french tuck so just tuck it in at the front like that style it with a nice kind of belt yeah really good quality and really really cute as well i think this would look great with a bit of red lipstick um and then let me tell you what size i got it in so i stuck to size and i got this in a 16. i'd say overall it fits really well it's a little bit tight across my back when i'm doing that um but yeah i'd say it's like pretty kind of friendly good quality this was 18 pounds and i actually think that's spot on again like i honestly just would never pick these up and think that they were from sainsbury's right guys so that is everything from me um i did say in my kind of store tour that i thought things were quite pricey i'd say that all of the pricing was actually kind of spot on i think it's just a tiny tiny bit more expensive than tesco um but it's definitely still worth it the quality was really good on everything i'd say the sizing is a little bit hit and miss like that shirt dress i tried on that was in the sale definitely came up teeny tiny and then the jumper dress came up quite roomy so i mean with most kind of cheaper brands that's always the case that the sizing is going to be all over the place um so bear that in mind but i would definitely go recommend like checking them out seeing what's there um we're quite lucky where we live that we live kind of in between like three big stores so it's pretty easy for me to go and like do my weekly shop and kind of check things out but yeah, like I said, I did a Tesco one as well. If you guys haven't checked that out, I'll link it because there was some really, really good stuff in there. Um, and also, if tell me if you guys like this kind of style of video. I really enjoy filming it. Um, but let me know if it's something you like seeing, if there's other stores you'd like me to do. Just drop me a comment. Let me know what your thoughts are. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. And if you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss an upcoming video. And until next time, I will see you guys later.